What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. Continuing the season here with the Washington Redskins. There, there we are. We got a record of 3-2. and two. Um, It's week 7. We're taking on the Phoenix Cardinals. So, without further delay, let's head to the field. Let's get to it out in Sun Devil Stadium in Phoenix, Arizona. We've got to skip to our game yet. I just think the Brown, I think the Browns beat the Bengals there. Ooh, 49ers beat the Cowboys. Thank you, David, and your 49ers. <laughs> oh, the Giants won. Sun Devil Stadium, home on the Phoenix Cardinals, huh? Week 7 matchup. We did uh, hear on the wire this week that uh, Chris Chandler will be starting for the uh, starting quarterback for the Cardinals this week. Chip Miller, I guess that was the coach's decision. He wasn't happy how Berline has been uh, playing as of late. Chip Miller gets us underway in Phoenix. Bailey with a good return, huh? Jones, I believe. Sure is. How about that? Well, they needed a, they got us, they wanted a spark, they got one, huh? Excellent, okay. I was ripping feeling he's excellent. Ripping has yet to throw an interception so far, so that's pretty cool. Average is average. 31. What's Urban's? 31. 25. What's this? Hobbs. Hobbs are excellent receiver and Middleton nineteen. Yeah, I might put Hobbs in there at tight end since he's on excellent, you know, maybe give him give him a chance to make some plays. He's a little bit better than um, Terry Orr there, even though Orr did make it good, you know. But hey it worked. We're trying to give other guys a chance to make some plays, especially when they're feeling uh, on excellent right there, right? Alrighty. That was only an 11-yard run. That was a good run. That was like, he did like two cuts there and two moves. Bam. All right. Sanders. He, Sanders has been solid this year. 
Throwing deep. Touchdown. Tim McGee has it. So, yeah, sometimes even though we're wearing the dark jerseys, the Redskins would wear the dark ones uh, uh, away from home. But this is more like the cart. I was going to say, don't you? It's like, is he going to back to doing that again? Uh, this is something that Phoenix would do because, you know, it's extremely hot out there. So that would be, a, you know, a strategy Phoenix would do. Uh, and the extreme heat, you know, your darker colors attracts the heat more. So, yeah, now the Cardinals, uh, that would usually be the Cardinals would usually be wearing their whites at home. Um, to so basically to make it tougher on their opponents, you know. So that's that's why we, even though we're wearing our red jerseys uh, on the road here. Seven-yard gain. Ooh, big down here. Third and one. What will the Cardinals do? He is stopped. No gain. Rip it avoids the rush. Oh, got rid of it, man. It's hoping Hobbs will make a play for us. Third and eight. Dumping off the biner and he can get you a 24 yard gain. Sanders beats his guy. It was one on one. He beat him. Nice. And Hurst fumbles the ball. The Redskins recover it. Ooh, those turnovers, you know. Hobbs, he's got a catch. First down. 21 yards. Round 
Ricky Urban's a nice nine yard run there, huh? Pretty good. It worked good that last time. I thought I'd try it again. Good return there for the Cardinals, Bailey. Ready, set, put, 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 put. Round 52. play twice in a row there. JD, <laughs> you're down 21-7. You better be putting it up in the air. Whoa! Gary Clark, our old compadre, makes his presence known. Garrison Hurst got a walk-in touchdown. I got blocked on the play. Well, the Cardinals def desperately needed needed the, needed that, you know, to try to get back in this game. So it's a one one score game now. Fiddlesticks. And we'll take it to half here, 21-14. If we had more, a little more time, I'd try to maybe kick a field goal, get in field goal range. We didn't, we only, you know, didn't have much time. Wow, Chandler 100%, so he's only, I guess, attempted the two passes. 100% <laughs> for 100 yards, Chandler, okay. Griffin's having a good day. Biner decent, five, yeah, Biner could be better, 5 for 29, but hey. We'll give him some more carries in the second half. By, Binder's going to get his carries. No, no worries there. Six yards. Round 52, round 52. Hut, hut, hut. First down. Red 
Redskins moving the ball at will here. Oh, Biner made a move! <laughs> it just looked like it looked like he was gonna get tackled there, but he just slid past the guy. Charles Band blows up the play. Loss of three yards. We're going to bring out the field goal kicker. Kick is up. Ooh. They got a luck they got a lucky bounce there, huh? for a five-yard game. <laughs> Blue, yeah, the Cardinals, they're giving us... The Cardinals are giving us more of a game than the Giants did. Sanders, he's having a heck of a day, I think, huh? Ripping too. Thirty-five, seventeen, at the end of the third quarter. Gary Clark, another big catch. I'm impressed with Chris Chandler, you know, right? Charles Mann was, you know, steamrolling right towards him, but he, uh, you know, stared it down and delivered a strike there.
play here, third and one. out the kicker again. Davis hits another one. Still in good shape, 35-20. Yeah. Two minutes ago in the game. Extra yardage, 27 yards. for Tim McGee too, all right. Yeah, the offense has been, the offense has been rolling today. Give Chip Low Miller an extra rep here. Box it through. Good job, bud. And that's the game. Mark Rippin, 84%, 324 yards, no interceptions. Nice. There's McGee, Tim McGee, five catches, 152 yards. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say Chris Chandler. He did. He did give the Cardinals a, a little bit of a spark today. So you know, maybe, maybe they got something to work with there. Nevertheless, we're happy to get back into it or get another win, right? Let's see. Okay, that was the last game. We're off week eight. Our next opponent is the Buffalo Bills, week nine. So let's check the standings here. Okay, no changes there. They were off. Or wait, 
Patriots are one of five. That's dimmer now. All right. All right, we got, ooh, we got the Oilers there, 5 and 1. The Browns have came, came on here a little bit. They're 3 and 3, along with the Steelers. The Bengals are 2 and 4. And the West, we got the Seahawks, 5 and 1. Chargers and Chiefs, 4 and 2. Raiders, 2 and 4. Broncos, 1 and 5. There we are, 4 and 2. Cowboys lost. Uh, they, they, the Eagles, and the Giants are three and three. There's the Cardinals at one and five. All right, we got sole possession of first place by just by a game though, so we can't can't relax. There's no change there. And the uh, 49ers six and zero. Oh. Falcons three and three. Saints two and four, and Rams two and four. Forty uh, Niners, huh? Looking like they're having a strong year. Yeah, let's check the leaderboard right now through, let's see, yeah, through, uh, partway, almost halfway through the season. Check the leaders passing. Mark Griffin, number one rated quarterback in the league right now. 73% completion. 1,449 yards, 16 touchdowns, and no picks. So there's your top six here. We've got Ripon, Kelly, Aikman, Young, Moon, and Farr. Receiving, it's always hard to lead in here. There's Jerry Rice. 25 catches, 620 yards, and 7 touchdowns. Oh, Sharp's having a big year for Green Bay. Burton. Irving Fryer. How about the rushing? It's like we may, we, I was like thinking we might have a chance with Ernest Biner, but I guess not. There he is. He's only got 357 yards. Well below the uh, leader there. We got the we got the best punter in the league right now. He's only two punts for 123 yards, uh, 61 and a half yard average. <laughs> sacks. There's Charles Mann. He's got six sacks. He's up there. Sanders has 12 rushing touchdowns so far. All right. Okay, we're looking pretty good right now, all right? So there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, pretty good game against the Cardinals overall. That, that was a, it was a fun, decent game. You know, they 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 did make they gave us a better game than the Giants did. I'll I'll give them that. You know, even though they had a worse record. That's what I'm saying. You never, despite the team's record, you never know. They can. The record doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean it's going to be a cakewalk, right? So, but still, overall, good performance. The offense was clicking. We didn't really have any uh, mishaps. So, those are my thoughts. Leave me yours in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But, the, but if this is your first time to the channel, tap subscribe and the bell, ding ding. That way, you're notified when I upload new videos. So, until next time, guys, keep it retro. Come Lord Jesus.